Hey, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com, please like, share, and subscribe. So I'm waiting on parts for some other amplifiers, I have a Drake amp coming up, I haven't unboxed it yet. So, customer bought this from someone, plate choke was already snapped off sideways, so he packed it up like that, bubble wrap, put it in the amp, needs to be replaced, parasitic board's getting... Placed at the same time, it's going to get new SO239s, I'll do all the updates, get rid of that cap mod over here they put in there to try to save the bias circuit, if you ever had a tube flash, replace the gas discharge tubes at the base of the sockets, if it has them, I didn't even check to see if the, yeah, the grids are grounded, okay, so, I'll go through everything else, and uh, show you when it's all done, it was missing the fuse, holder caps so I took some off of another amplifier real quick to turn it on to check everything else out so I have to find a couple here otherwise if I don't have them I'll have to change the actual fuse holders okay so it's getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes awesome 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 company and the SO239 s come from Max Gain Systems good people okay so I'll see you guys soon stay tuned please like share and subscribe Compress the socket clips carefully. Put in new gas discharge tubes, one per side of the paralleled filaments. Put a longer screw in to the new plate choke that I just installed. I'm going to get back to work. See you guys soon. At repairguy.com, 203 892 4119. Also, harbachelectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. So, got the other AL572 all completed. It's waiting on the parasitic board. So the customer wants to see it working on 20 meters. There are the settings. 1KW slug, it's on PEP, audio hello, audio hello, 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 1KW, 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 audio hello, 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 audio hello, hello, hello. Radio is doing about 50 watts in to get the 1KW out. Audio hello, hello, hello. And it works as it should. Okay, so I'm going to let the tubes cool off for a second. I'll take the cover off and show you what I did. See you guys soon. Okay, so I'm back with the AL572. It's all done. Cover's off. So let's, I'll show you everything I did. So I replaced the gas discharge tubes underneath the tube sockets, compressed the socket clips, cleaned the socket clips with deoxy gold. Grids were already grounded, so I didn't have to, I didn't have to do that. Put a longer screw in the plate choke, installed a new plate choke, the other one was damaged, longer screw in the top the plate choke, going through the new parasitic board, old one was damaged, got rid of that mod back there that's no longer needed when you have the gas discharge tubes, got brand new set of Pentlab tubes, awesome company, got brand new plate blocking caps also, and new ones at the base of the plate choke. Brand new SO239s from Max Gain Systems. Great people over there. Penta, just, they're just awesome people over there. Can't say enough good stuff about them. So, tighten up on hardware, fix solder joints, clean the band switch with Deoxygold, input rotary switch with Deoxygold, touched up on input circuit adjustments. And, uh, that's about it. Also clean the TR slash bias relay with Deox Gold and the soft start relay with Deox Gold. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. 73.